6, I'm Dan Maris. And I'm Brooke Wagner. U of A President Robert Robbins gave his State of the University to the Arizona Board of Regents on the same day students protest his decision making. 13 News reporter J.D. Wallace is live at the U of A after hearing Robbins address and students concerns. J.D. Dan, President Robbins explained spending in a variety of areas. The tough road ahead of the university is a reality, and protesters say that students, faculty, and staff should not carry the burden. The hard decisions facing the cash-strapped University of Arizona are ones protesters say should not be made on the backs of students. You know, in the state constitution, you were guaranteed the right to as nearly free as possible tuition, um, and it's definitely not even close. It's not the time for me to, to go through and, and uh, describe all the issues around our financial challenges. But in a State of the University presentation, he says he planned all along for the Board of Regents, U of A President Robert Robbins underscores return on investment from research programs, increased engagement with Hispanic and Native American students, and attracting premier candidates for colleges. We need to focus on our core mission, which is teaching and research. And why it is that many of these investments are ROIs that are not immediate. This is an extremely helpful way for us to understand that. Reinvigorating the land grant focus of this university it, with its enormous responsibility to the non urban and rural parts of the state. But the clock is ticking on a mid December deadline for a pencil sharpening plan to increase the university's cash reserves from the current three months worth to more like four. And this protest says students and faculty should be spared. The cuts or whatever plan that they have needs to, you know, put that burden on someone else that's not the students. President Robbins also said he does not want to cut merit-based scholarships. He also explained why he spent reserves on some programs, once again underscoring that return on investment or ROI that was important to the Board of Regents today. And he also said that the university's philanthropic Fuel Wonder campaign has raised more than $2 billion in a matter of weeks on its way to that $3 billion goal. Live at the University of Arizona, J.D. Wallace, 13 News.